Let's continue with the electrophilic substitution reactions of the aniline that is called last one that is sulfonation. So in last uh, uh, previous sessions videos we have studied about the nitration, bromination. So today's last one concept is uh, sulfonation that is an electrophilic substitution reaction. What will happen? Let's see here. First we can see the reaction. Reaction you know that this is aniline. This aniline is basic in nature. You know because these are the derivatives of ammonia. When it is treated with H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4, you know that this is a very strong acid and its work is always it donates the proton that is called H plus ions. It donates the H plus ions and remaining will be hydrogen sulfate ion. Hydrogen sulfate ion which donates the H plus ion because it is acid. And here the lone pair of the electrons on the nitrogen atom, what happens? It is, uh, it is going to attack its this hydrogen and then it is become anilinium ion then it becomes anilinium ion so so this is called anilinium ion and remaining this will i am going to write as it is here so its name is anilinium hydrogen sulfate ion which on further heating so that is for heating. This is a symbol of this heating. So around 453 to 473 Kelvin. So some interchange will be takes place in this reaction. That is, uh, I am going to write the final product as. So this is the final product. That is called sulfonation. Its name is paraamino. Para amino benzene sulfonic sulfonic acid. Para amino benzene sulfonic acid. Or simply it is named as a sulfanilic acid. You can tell here. So this is the reaction. And one more that here uh, in this reaction, you know that this part is acidic part. You know this this part is acidic part, and this part is purely basic part. So that's why in any uh, one compound, if there is acid and base will be there. That is uh, this is acid group and basic group is attached. So the, that type of compound we are going to call as Jupiter ion. That compound we are going to call as Jupiter ion. How will it take place? So I am going to write once again that is compound. So this is only reaction. When you uh, see the mechanism, then only you can understand how this SO3H group will come under attack here. Let's see. That. You can see further in the mechanism description. And that group is the aniline and below is SO3H and this part is act as a acidic in nature acidic in nature and this part is called as basic in nature so what happens acid you know that always it donates its protons right and it is a basic because amine groups are the basic groups what happens this H plus which is going to give to this group so that is called Jupiter ion and this is called interconversion reaction so now I am going to write as NH3 plus NH3 plus and what it lost here? Hydrogen it lost so that is I am going to write as SO3 minus so this is called as Jupiter ion formation. Let's see the mechanism here. So why mechanism is required means because when you understand the reaction in order to explain the reaction you should need to know the mechanism how the every step is going to take place in this uh, in this type of reactions and here uh, you know that anil when anilinium ion will be formed that type what happens then meta meta group also will be existed because we have seen in the last previous videos what happens in order to protect this this group we are going to take place with acetylation once again it is acetylation will be takes place in order to protect this group we have seen like in bromination nitration like this also in sulfonation in order to protect this group because when anilinium ion forms also meta group will be also formed here so you know that so this anilin is a ortho and para directors when the acetylation will be formed let's see here uh, in order to maintain this protecting this group so this name is once again this is acetic anhydride acetic anhydride we have seen uh, how to how to generate this one because when the acetic anhydride is given it is understood that always we are going to eliminate as acetic acid so directly i am going to write the steps because we have studied already these uh, how to 
protect this Guernish group by using acetylation and mechanism we have studied. Simply what happens when this group is attacks here via SN1 mechanism. So what happens? This group will be going to be eliminated here. Okay, CS3CO and H will be going to uh, eliminated here because this nitrogen gets positive charge. When this lone pair attacks on this uh, carbonyl compound, so then it gets positive charge. In order to maintain the stability, one hydrogen is going to be removed. That forms the acetic acid. I am going to write directly as acetamylide. That's the name is NHCO CH3. This is called acetamylide. How to get this one? I have explained everything about the mechanisms in previous videos. So directly I am going to write this name is acetamylide. So next step is this acetamide is going to take place with H2SO4 in order to get the sulfonation. So when I write SO, uh, H2SO4, we can't understand how the electrophile is going to be generated. You know that aniline is always more reactive towards the electrophilic substitution reactions. So what happens when aniline is uh, reactive means we are going to generate the electrophiles. How we are going to generate this uh, electrophile that is SO3H group, how it is going to attack here? So let's see here how the generation of the electrophiles. So I am going to write the uh, structure of the sulfuric acid and this is called sulfuric acid H, H, H2, SO2, SO, 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 SO4 I am going to write one molecule and one more molecule also I am going to write because in order to get the electrophile so lone pair will be there and we also lone pair will be there so one acid it acts as an acid and one acid act as a base so how because you know that electronegativity difference between oxygen and hydrogen this will be having the more electronegative so it gets the negative charge on the oxygen atom when this bond break down then it eliminates as a H plus and this lone pair is more reactive always so what happens this lone pair which is going to come and attack with this, uh, this group H plus once again so one H2SO4 it acts as acid and one H2SO4 it acts as a base and this electronegativity difference between oxygen and hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen will be having more electronegative, it obstructs the bond pair of electron towards it, then it becomes O minus. This hydrogen is going to be eliminated. This is uh, eliminated as a H plus and this is eliminated as a SO3 minus. I am going to eliminate as O minus because this bond gets shifted to oxygen and it becomes O minus and remaining product, remaining thing I am going to write as this. Then what is left out here? And this lone pair on the oxygen, which is going to attack this with H plus, now it becomes positive charge. Why it got positive charge? Because the three bonds. So already oxygen with the two bond, so that I am going to write as this two bonds. Already with the two bonds, I have an extra bond is that is H plus. So by looking this simple reaction, I am going to eliminate here water molecule. Water molecule that is I am going to eliminate the water molecule. So how I am going to here? So this is a deficient oxygen now and this bond gets migrated towards this oxygen because the electronegativity difference between oxygen and sulfur oxygen will have the more electronegative so this bond gets migrated towards oxygen then it becomes water molecule is going to be limited and remaining is SO3H plus now this electrophile this SO3H plus because electrophile is nothing but in positive this electrophile which come and attack with the ortho position or para position why not matter we have studied the briefly mechanism in last two sessions of the videos aniline is always ortho and para directors but here i am not going to write it ortho position because of this bulkiness group when i write this so3 due to this bulky group it, it, it doesn't attack here only it attack in the free position so there's a para position will be free so that's why this so3 plus which come and attack at the para position now it becomes NHCOCS3 and SO3H. So, like this, we have generated the electrophile and it is going to attack with this para positions and ortho position. So, group, bulky groupness will be there. So, it is freely available. So, in para position, it come and attack here. And when I treat with this nitrolysis, that is H plus or water, what happens? This group will be going to eliminate it. So, what I am going to eliminate here? Once again, acetic acid I am going to eliminate and this H plus combined with this nitrogen. So now it is called our product that is called sulfonic acid that is called para amino. Now this amine group acts as a para position. Now this is a para position. 
So how to read this one? Para mena. So because this is ortho, meta, para, meta, ortho, para. So para amino benzene group sulfonic acid. Its name is para amino benzene sulfonic acid. So this is the product we have obtained here.